Hey folks, uh, it's Mr. Bullock here in this uh, lesson. This uh, integrated one lesson is right after our first test. It is called graphing linear relationships. So our common core strand is right there. So here, how are we going to be able to find pairs of numbers that work in an equation? So how can we predict what will happen in further points? So um, that's what this lesson's about. So we're going to be graphing linear relationships. So this part says create a t-chart to express dimes and quarters. So here's a t-chart, dimes on this side, quarters on this side. And then um, uh, you have a total of 10 coins. So how many of each coin can you have? Well, okay, well I can have zero uh, dimes and 10 quarters. That's 10 coins. I can have one dime and um, nine quarters or two dimes and eight quarters or three dimes and seven quarters or four dimes and six quarters okay you get the picture so you can have five and five they just have to add the ten you guys six dimes and four seven dimes and three quarters eight dimes and two quarters nine dimes and one quarter finally all dimes and and no quarters those are the only the all the ways to get uh, uh, ten coins with dimes and quarters okay so write an equation in standard form that models this situation so standard form we'll learn more about this later is ax plus by equals c okay so what they want us to do is just represent uh, you know like dimes plus quarters equals that ten a total ten okay and we're going to start getting used to x plus y equals ten a lot of our lessons will deal with x plus y or x is the dimes in this case and y is the quarters okay or you can have it the other way around doesn't matter all right so that's what that's asking about okay this time though you have twice as many dimes and quarters and your total coins is somewhere between 20 and 30 so how many of each dimes and quarters could you have okay remember you have twice as many dimes as quarters so if i have if i have uh, 10 dimes how many quarters am i going to have if there's twice as many of these as this I would get me five quarters right there okay which totals 15 now you guys it says uh, uh, the total has to be somewhere between 20 and 30 so this one doesn't work you guys because the total is only 15 so I'm gonna cross that out okay let's try 12 now do you guys know why I picked 12 you guys instead of 11 um, and I could have picked you know a different number right there but I'm picking even numbers because that's twice as many for quarters and I can't have any fraction quarters so I gotta pick numbers that I can take half of reasonably, reasonably easy so 12 is easy to take half of. What's half of 12? That'll tell me I'm gonna have six quarters and then 12 plus 6 only equals 18. Remember it's gotta be somewhere between 20 and 30. Okay so 18 coins isn't gonna fit this problem either. I'm gonna cross that off. So let's try 14. Okay 14 dimes, half of 14 is 7 and 14 plus 7 is 21. So that one works so I could have 14 dimes and 7 quarters. Okay, now what's the next number I'm going to pick, you guys? Am I going to pick 15? No, I can't pick 15 because i got to take half of 15 and I can't have half of a, of a quarter right there. Okay, so I'm going to pick 16 and then half of 16 is 8. 16 plus 8 equals 24. That's between 20 and 30, so that one works also. 18 works. Even 20 works right there. And then if I pick 22, all of a sudden that half of 22 is 11. So that's going to get me 33 coins. So I'm done right there. So there's my there's my four possibilities of dimes and quarters. Uh, 14 dimes, seven quarters. 16 dimes, eight quarters. 18 dimes, nine quarters. Finally, 20 dimes, ten quarters. Those are the ones that'll fit that problem right there. All right, then we're going to be doing some graphing, you guys. So let's graph each ordered pair. Okay, remember this is the x. They're always in alphabetical order. So this is x. This is y. Okay, this is always my x-axis, this is always my y-axis. So I'm going to go to the right 5 on the x-axis, so go to the right 5 over here, and then I'm going to go up 1 and plot a point. So to the right 5 and go up 1, and I'll put a point right there. Okay, so there's 5, 1. Okay, this one says um, negative 2. Remember, this is x, so if I'm going to go negative 2, which is that way, and then up 4, which is up here. Okay, so negative 2 comma 4 is up there. Okay, uh, negative 3, 0. There's negative 3, 0 to the left 3 and up 0. Okay, 0, negative 4. I go to the left or right 0, which is just, you know, don't go to the left or right, and then go down 4. So here's 0, negative 4 down there. Okay, we're going to be doing lots of graphing with those guys right there. So let's give it a shot. We're going to create a t-chart and graph each. Okay, so there's a, a graph right there. Here's my um, uh, equation, x plus y equals 12. That just means two numbers add up to 12 right there. Okay, so let's create a t-chart right there. 
Okay, now this is what um, uh, you're going to see on your on your worksheet in our class right there. Here's an equation, x plus y equals 12 right here. And I'm just going to put in any x values. You can put in any x values that you want, you guys. I like positive numbers. And I'm looking at this graph over here. You know, if I put in 0 right here, 0 plus 12 would equal 12. But this graph doesn't go up to 12, so I'm going to stay away from 0. So I'm going to try, um, um, uh, that says, think of what two numbers add to 12, because this says uh, this number plus this number must equal 12. So let's pick them. 6 and 6 add to 12. That's easy. So let's graph 6, 6. So over 6, up 6. So there's that one right there. And you pick any other two numbers. And I picked 8, 4. 8 plus 4 adds to 12. So I'm going to go to the right 8. And notice these are going by 2's, you guys, OK? Be careful, because these are going by 2's. So here's 2, here's 4, here's 6 right here. So here was 6, and then I went up 2, 4, 6 for that one. And then for 8, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8. Who do we in there? And I remember, never mind, sorry, you guys. Couldn't help it. There's 8, 4 right there. All right, and then um, uh, 210, is a, you can do any examples, you guys, so 210. Now, the title of this lesson was called uh, uh, Graphing Linear Relationships. So linear means line. So these points all should line up on a straight line. And I don't care if you want to connect them with a ruler or a nice straight edge. That'd be cool, too. We'll try and pass out some graph paper in our classes, and that way you can see that they line up on a nice line right there. Okay, it's kind of hard to do a graph paper on this guy right here when I'm graphing that. Okay, so there's one example. Let's try another one. X plus 2Y equals 12. Okay, so you're going to see a, a T chart like that. So X plus 2Y equals 12. All right, now I'm going to pick a bunch of X values, although you could have picked Y values and plugged it into 2 times Y. I don't know why I chose X values. Zero is a good one. So let's go ahead and put 0 in there, you guys. So here I have, um, if 0 is right here, then I just have, uh, that gets rid of this x right here. So I just have 2y equals 12. So if 2y equals 12, y equals 6. Does that make sense, you guys? If, if, I, if x equals 0, then that goes away. So I'm left with 2y equals 12. So y must be equal to 6. So let's graph 0. x was 0, and y gave me 6. So we're going to graph the ordered pair. 0 comma 6. Remember we graph x comma y. Okay, I did that in purple. So again, these are going by 2. So here's 2, 4, 6. Here's 0, 6. I go to the left and right 0, up 6. All right, let's try a different x value. Okay, I tried 4. All right, and I tried um, uh, even numbers because I noticed this is 2. I'm going to have to divide by 2 here shortly. Like I divided this by 2. 2y equals 12. So um, I divided both sides by 2. So I'm picking even numbers. You can pick any x value you want. Now what I should have done is plugged in y equals 0, and I'll try and do that on this here. So um, um, uh, when x equals 4, I plugged in 4 right there. So 4 plus 2y equals 12. That's what that says right there. So what I'm going to do is subtract 4 from both sides. We did that in our last chapter. So 12 minus 4 is 8. So 2y equals 8. Okay, you with me? And then divide by 2, and you get y equals 4. So I'm going to graph this x and this y right here. So I'm going to graph x equals 4, y equals 4. Okay, and I did that in red. So there it is, over 4, up 4. Remember, 2, 4, and then 2, 4. Okay, so the next one's going to lie somewhere on this line right here, because this is a linear relationship. So if it doesn't, then that'll let us know that we made a mistake. All right, so if I picked um, uh, 8, all right, well, 8's good enough. So I have 8 plus 2y equals 12, okay? And then when I subtract 8 from both sides, let's see, there's 8 plus 2y equals 12. So subtract 8 from both sides, 12 minus 8 is 4. So 2y equals 4, y equals 2. So now I'm going to go ahead and graph 8 comma 2, this x and this y right here. So 8 comma 2 is right there. Okay, now if I wanted to, if I wanted to graph, I don't have enough room right here, but if I wanted to pl plug in 0, when y is 0, then I just have x equals 12, so it would be over here, at, here's 10, here's 12, so it would be over here at 12 comma 0. See how it lines on that line right there? Okay, we only need three points right there, though, so that's good enough, you guys. Okay, it gets a little bit more challenging. Here's some with negatives, you guys. Negative 2x minus y equals 10. Okay, so there's my chart right there. I'm going to plug in, let's see, 0. 0 is nice, you guys. Watch out for this negative right here. This negative will get kids um, uh, stumbling a lot, you guys. So when I plug that in right there, I get, um, uh, I get negative y 
um, negative y because the zeros goes right here or the zero get, makes that go away. So I still have negative y equals 10, negative y equals 10. So divide by negative 1, you get y equals negative 10. So I'm going to graph this x and this y right here. I'm going to graph 0, negative 10. Okay, that's way down here, 0, negative 10. Okay, let's see, what else did I try? Now, I would try, I didn't think about it, you guys. I'll do it at the end right here. Okay, I tried uh, x equals 2. Okay, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So I get negative 4 uh, minus y, negative 4 minus y equals 10. I'm going to add 4 to both sides, and I'm going to get uh, 10 plus 4 is 14. So negative y, don't forget about the negative, negative y equals 14. So I'm going to have to do, uh, I'm going to have to extend it up here to 14 a little bit. So y is going to be negative 14. Whoops, that's down here. So there's 10, so 12, so 14 somewhere down here. Okay, so, um, uh, so I'm going to graph x equals 2, so over 2, and then down 14, 2, negative 14. Okay, told you it'd get a little bit more challenging, huh? All right, let's try one more, make sure we're doing good. And I plugged in x equals negative 4, you guys. So negative 2 times negative 4 is a positive 8. So I get 8 minus y equals 10. Okay, so 8 minus y equals 10. Now this tells me, because I froze right here, I'm going to go over to this one right here. So 8 minus y equals 10. So I subtracted 8 from both sides. Okay. Uh, and I get um, uh, negative y. Don't forget about the negative. The minus y equals 2, so y equals negative 2. So I'm going to graph this x and this y. So negative 4, negative 2. That's over here. Negative 4, negative 2 right there. And it should be on that nice straight line right there. Okay, what if I plugged in y equals 0? Gets rid of this. I have negative 2x equals 10. So negative 2 goes into 10 at negative 5 times. So that'd be right here. Okay, at negative 5 comma 0. It'll be right on that line still. Okay, all right, let's try one more, you guys. Let's try uh, this one with a fraction right here. Okay, so here's my chart right there. Okay, I'm going to plug in 0. 0 is nice always, you guys. So when 0 goes, that goes away. 4y equals 8. So 4 goes into 8 2 times. So I'm going to graph x equals 0, y equals 2. Okay, so there's 0, 2 right there. And this time I have them going up by 1. There's 1, there's 2, there's 3, there's 4 right there. Okay, uh, let's try uh, x equal 2. Now I'm picking even numbers, you guys, because i got to take a half of it. So I, I didn't pick 3 because I didn't want to take a half of 3. So 1 half of 2 is 1. So I have uh, 1 plus uh, 1 plus 4y equals 8. Okay, and then divide both sides by 4. I get 7 fourths. That's what that is right there. And 7 fourths is 1 and 3 fourths. Okay, just got to be careful, you guys. When you take away 1 on both sides, you have 4y equals 8 minus 1 is 7. And then divide by 4, I get 7 fourths right there. Okay, so I'm going to graph 2 comma 7 fourths, which is 1 and 3 fourths. So over 2, uh, whoops, I didn't do that right, darn it. So over 2... It should be right there, over 2, up 1, and 3, 4, something like that. Okay, so my point's going to be off on the next one right there. I know what I'll do. Let me go back and copy that. Sorry about that, you guys. I know, your teacher never makes mistakes, right? I make them all the time. Okay, so let's keep going here, you guys. So I'm going to do one more. Um, whoops, let me get that one right there. Let me delete that. Uh, paste. Okay, so um, uh, when I let um, uh, x be 4, 1 half of 4 is 2, so I have 2 plus 4y equals 8. Sorry about the distraction, you guys. Uh, subtract 8, and I get 4y equals 6, so divide by 4, 6 fourths, which is uh, uh, 1 and 1 half right there. So I'm going to graph 4 comma 1 and 1 half. So I'm going to go over 4, uh, up 1 and 1 half. Let me get rid of that there. So delete paste, and it should be on the nice straight line right there, okay? Let me lower that just a little bit. I'm cheating just a little bit. We're going to have graph paper in class, you guys, okay? That should make sense, you guys, and we'll do, we'll do a lot, probably two days on this, you guys, okay? All right, you guys, take care.